Hey guys, what's up? It's Fran. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. So today I am starting a propagation project. We are going to be propagating none other than my monkey tail cactus. This is one of my most prized plants. I've had it for um, probably around a year now or coming up to a year now. Now I have propagated this plant once, kind of. So I have this large one that I just showed you. And then I also have two smaller ones, which have grown a lot for me. They were going kind of wonky. So this one shot off that little guy right there from the side. And then this one just, I don't know, kept growing, but I think I was underwatering or I don't know, this was like winter growth too. So it just looks a little, a little strange, but that's fine. So I actually received all of these plants as cuttings, fresh cuttings that I let callus and rooted on my own and was able to grow out. So we are now going to be cutting these two off of this guy because I want to add those back into here. And then today, so that's gonna take a while for like whole like callusing and everything to happen. But today, however, I am going to be potting these into this mother plant. So I eventually just want one plant of this, but I just want it to be like more full and larger. This also just looked kind of like bizarre. <laughs> I don't know why mine is just growing from the tip and not, it's not giving me anything from the base. If you have this plant, do yours do that too? Because somebody messaged me and said that theirs just grows from the base. So I don't know, mine is just like, it looks hilarious. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be, these are actually quite massive. They started off as pretty small, but they're pretty, pretty big. So I'm gonna be chopping these off and then leaving them out for a week or so to callus over and then I will be just potting them back into here. So I'm hoping that this all goes well. Like I said, I've only done this once, but I was successful with these three. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Why don't I move the camera down and we'll get started. Okay, now this is going to be a video where I show you the results over a span of time. So today is June 28th. Um, this is the perfect time of year to start this as well. You want to do this during the growing season or when it's like sunny and warm out to reduce the risk of this just rotting on you. I was specifically waiting until summer to do this project. So we are beginning it today. I don't know when, how long I'm going to be filming this journey for or when this video is going to go up, but we're just starting it off today. So I guess I just have to go ahead and chop these guys. So you just want to try to get like a, as clean of a cut as possible. Maybe I'm going to clean these. I don't remember what I last used them for, so I am going to sanitize them. Just to prevent any transfer of fungus or bacteria, it's probably fine, but better safe than sorry. So I just have an alcohol swab here. Like I said, this is one of my favorite plants, so um, I'm just trying to like be extra cautious with everything. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and make the snip. I'm gonna go right here. Oh, oh, perfect. I feel like that was a pretty good cut. So that is one of them. Oh my gosh. So you can see it's like a fresh, juicy cut there. You don't wanna go ahead and just plant this right away into potting mix because the risk of rotting is gonna be a lot higher. So you want to just leave this out. Um, last time I did, I, I just left it on like a sunny table and just let it callous for like a week or so. Okay, so the next one, ooh, this one feels a little thicker. Just gonna, boop. Okay, another really good cut. These are pretty like thick shears. They're literally just from a dollar store, but I'm able to get like a pretty, pretty good cut with these bad boys. Okay, so I'm going to just have those off to the side and then let's take a look at what mama is looking like now. So that is the two cuts that I just made. So she'll just callus over and be fine, I'm sure. She's quite rooted. I don't know like when I should be repotting this. If you have one, let me know. It doesn't want to focus, but you can see, there we go. 
you can see roots coming out of the drainage hole. Okay, so now for the second part of what I wanna do today is I wanna add these guys back into the mother plant here. So I'm just gonna see if I can like make a bit of a, well, actually let's pull these out and see how much roots we're working with. I'm just gonna gently, oh, oh wow. Oh wow, it actually does have a pretty good root system on it. Look at that. Okay. I'm just gonna see if I can, I don't wanna disrupt it too much, but I just wanna see if I can break it up a little bit. So now it's more easy to like maneuver into a spot in the pot here. I'm gonna set that down and let's take the other one out. Oh, there we go. Okay, this one's not quite as rooty, but I can see some healthy roots there. So that is good. Camera doesn't wanna focus today, there we go. I don't know if you can see, but there are some roots there. Now to talk a little bit about the care of this plant briefly, I guess while I'm just doing this, this plant lives in a south facing window so it does get pretty high light. Um, like I said, I've had it for about a year. It's in terracotta as you can see, it potted into a uh, cactus and succulent mix that was sold by a local cactus and succulent like specialty shop. So um, I think it's a really good so i think it's a really high quality mix which i wanted to invest in just because like i said this plant is very important to me i water it probably every seven to ten days whenever it gets dry this drains so quickly too that i can water it like pretty frequently and it's fine but if you're worried about overwatering this plant obviously it's a cactus so you don't want to be like drenching it and overwatering it they do go kind of like limp like they get more flexible and droopy floppy when they're thirsty so you can look for that as a sign but i haven't had any problems with like overwatering mine or anything i seem to appreciate a good drink i fertilize all throughout the growing season usually lightly with every watering and i kind of switch up my fertilizers i have several different ones that i use right now i'm just using the general hydroponics flora flora series um, I've also used the Schultz Cactus and Succulent Fertilizer for this and it seemed to really like that. So whatever like Cactus and Succulent or just like general purpose fertilizer, I usually just mix it up at half strength and water with every watering during the growing season. Okay, so I think this is pretty good. Like I said, I've only had this plant for a year, so I'm nowhere close to being an expert on it at all, but I am learning as I go here. Okay, so now I have to figure out if I'm gonna be able to pot these in here. Okay, so as I'm looking in here, I can see a lot of roots. Like I think this thing might need to be up potted, but I'm not sure, so I'm just gonna gently pull it out and see what the roots are looking like i have a just like a pot whatever thing here um these are it's like soft but if you squeeze it then it's spiky so you have to be a little bit careful but let's see what is going on here oh boy i have a feeling we're gonna need to up pot this oh man Okay. Oh, 
now. Okay, what this is telling me is that this really <laughs> needs to be repotted. It's so rooty. Oh, okay, there it goes, there it goes. <gasps> Oh, holy crap. Whoa, this thing is like all roots, you guys. For, from the top, you can see it's like roots all the way through. Wow. Uh, okay, well, good thing I checked. I am going to drive to the store and buy a new pot for this. <laughs> okay. I was not expecting to be repotting this plant today. I wish I would have known and been more prepared because I would have purchased the same potting mix that it's already in because obviously it's doing really well in there. But alas, I, I was not prepared. So I just ran out to the store and I first of all got a larger terracotta pot. So I'll show you, I think this is a 7.5 inch and this was the uh, one I just took it out of so it's just about it's just like one size up It's not a massive difference, but it's definitely bigger and I picked up just some miracle Grow Cactus palm and succulent potting mix Now do I feel confident using this potting mix? No, so I'm going to be adding pumice and perlite to it and then I think it'll be fine It has sand in there already. So I think if I just can add some more chunkiness to aerate it, then I think it's gonna be fine. So let's hope so. But I am going to, I guess I'll mix that up right now first. I happen to have a whole bunch of my Crystal Star Nursery potting supplies that I have not put away yet in my house sitting right there. So I'll probably use this pumice and should I put some charcoal? Okay, yes, apparently it is great to use for cactus and succulents. So I will be using the charcoal, some of this, and I have this perlite that I, I think I boiled that and we're reusing it now. Oh, I can rip this. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just the miracle Grow Cactus and Succulent mix. Like there's, it says perlite in the ingredients, but there's hardly any in here. So we're definitely gonna be adding a lot more. I do like that this mix has fertilizer already in it, so I'm not gonna have to worry about fertilizing for like the next month or so, which is nice. I might still add like some little extra, I don't know, like Super Thrive or Microtech um, Vitamax. I might add some things like that when I water it, but I don't have to be super on top of my fertilizing, which is nice. Okay, some hummus. I feel like the mix that I had it in was very pumice heavy, very like rocky mix. So we're gonna go pretty, pretty hard on the pumice for this. Put a bit of the charcoal. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this potting mix. That's what it's looking like. Very um, 
I don't know if I would say chunky, but it's quite like rocky and um, well draining. So I think that's gonna be pretty good. We can go ahead and start with our repot. And again, this is going into terracotta again, so I'm not super worried about it not being well draining enough. I think that it's this is gonna be a good combination. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so now for the fun part. So I'm gonna move my little guys over a little bit. Put this down. Okay, I'm gonna fill up the pot with some of the mix that we just created. And then I'll see how this fits just like this. Oh, actually it's gonna be perfect. I can even put more of my mix in, but maybe, ouch, ooh. Maybe I will just throw some of this pumice in because why not? I'm just gonna mix that in a little bit actually. I always just try to reuse whatever I can. Okay, let's see how that is looking. I can even put more, wow, okay, so this is good. He's gonna have lots of room in here. I was worried this pot was gonna be a little tight, but no, it's good. Let's see now. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, I want to figure out where I'm gonna put the babies. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> they look so small in here. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll want them all kind of like pointing the same way. Okay, I'm gonna fill this up a little bit. Then I'll pop them in for good. Now I'm going to add these in. Maybe I'll do one on each side actually. That'll kind of like balance it out better. Yeah, then it will be easy to just pop in those cuttings after a week because they're not gonna have a root system or anything. I can just like stick them in wherever. All right, so this is where I have stuck these guys just on the windowsill. So I'm gonna leave them here for a few days and then I'm gonna take a look and kind of see how the callusing is coming along. I'll check in with you then. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Maybe it will only be a few days before I end up potting these in. Maybe it'll be a week. Uh, we will see how it goes and then I just wanted to show you that I ended up putting the monkey tail back in the same spot It was in before that pot was still able to fit into the same saucer and everything so it's perfect Gets a good amount of light and sunshine here. It's cloudy today. So not much sun is coming in right now But yeah, both of the cuttings are in there. I did give it a water um, So hopefully all of those will do well. I will keep you updated on that as well Okay, I am back there's a huge mess behind me, so we're just gonna ignore that. I was doing some Anthurium repotting. Okay, so it, I'm pretty sure it's been exactly a week since we took these cuttings. Uh, today is July 5th, Tuesday, and I think it was last Tuesday that we took these cuttings, so let me show them to you. They have been sitting on the windowsill to callus. I have them on a garden book here. Um, so they pretty much look exactly the same, which is good. Like nothing crazy is gonna happen. I'll show you what the cut ends are looking like, just like that. It's gonna look like it's gonna be dry, not oozy anymore or anything, obviously. So these feel a bit softer. Like you can tell that they're losing water retention. 
but they're not like squishy or mushy or anything. They're just a bit more flexible. Uh, so I am going to be potting these up today. Whew, I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I was just scrambling to get everything set up so that I could film this right now. I will say I was away for the weekend, had a busy, it, I've just been busy and I was away for the weekend. I would have liked to pot these up at maybe day four or five, or maybe day five instead of day eight, which is what we're on right now. But I'm hoping it'll be fine. I am going to be potting them up in a little terracotta pot each. I don't know why I kept saying that I was just gonna be potting these right back into the main one because it's not what I'm doing because the water requirements are different. These I'm just gonna be misting, whereas the other one, it's obviously well rooted. I'm just gonna be watering that through. So I'm just gonna be doing the same thing that I've done with my other small ones and using these small terracotta pots. Now I did wanna give you a quick one week update on the main plant because it's doing well and it's already showing growth, which is so crazy. So we potted this up together a week ago and there's already growth happening on these baby ones that I can see. Like that's definitely longer than it was um, last week. And I'm pretty sure that this one is longer too. Like this thick part that's growing. These look crazy, I'm aware. And this whole pot just looks like not very aesthetic. Oh my gosh, I literally just realized my freaking mattress cover is chilling behind me. Why am I the worst YouTuber? That looks so bad. Okay, let's just pretend that was never there. As I was saying, I'm aware that this is not like the most appealing or aesthetic pot of monkey sail cactus, but it's a journey, not a sprint. This is a project that's going to be ongoing for years, like overall, not, not this particular video. But overall, this is going to take years to get like a nice basket of monkey tail. And I'm hoping once I can eventually pot these back in, like it'll just add to it and it won't look like as bizarre because right now it looks really strange because there's this one really big one and then two small ones. But I'm just like, you know, trying to prepare for the future by having these all in one pot. And yeah, this is still, it's not like wet, but I can tell that it's still holding moisture in here. It doesn't need to be watered. It's also been cloudy and rainy out. So this thing like has not dried out yet. It's been a week. I'm pretty happy with that because this was just like drying out so fast as you can imagine before with how root bound the plant was. I'm gonna look at the tip where it was cut actually. It looks good. Nothing really different about it, but it's all dried like the other ones. Okay, so we are going to pot these up. I'm going to be doing the same little cactus mix as I made before. I only need to make a really small amount this time because obviously we're just using these tiny pots. Pretty much almost, well, I'm gonna do like two thirds of the way probably up to there. I don't know why I'm doing this on top of my book. Okay, now I'm going to stick that guy in and then I'm gonna use some more potting mix to kind of cover, cover the base of him up. Now, I didn't really think about the fact that this is going to be tricky because this is just gonna wanna flop over and it's gonna pull out of there. So I might have to use something to like prop this up while it's rooting. Huh. My other ones were small, so they were able to stay in the pot, but this, I think I'm gonna have to use something to prop it up. I think I might just put it against the window I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to go put it there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna miss this. And then I'm gonna put it by the window. Oh, I don't wanna mist over my book. I'm literally just going to mist it a bit and that's gonna be its watering. Oop, so that's all I'm gonna do. That is all I'm going to do for probably the next month or two. 
until I can tug and feel that it's rooted. So I am going to put this by the window and then I'll show you guys at the end what it looks like. Okay, so I'm literally just gonna do the same thing. This mister, by the way, is like my favorite plant accessory purchase ever. Okay, that's gonna be good. Okay, so this is how I have them. <laughs> they look quite hilarious. They're just propped against the glass um, in this south facing window as you can see, so they should hopefully be getting a lot of sun and theoretically root up pretty quickly. I will definitely check in with you guys and we'll see how they're doing. And then of course the bigger, the mother over there, is just hanging out on the same windowsill. So yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, you guys, I am back. It has been a while. I kept meaning to film this video and then for whatever reason, I just didn't get around to it. It is September 8th today. Um, so I think, I'm trying to remember when I even started this project and I think it might've been June. So it's definitely been a few months. Regardless, I have exciting updates to show you and I will fill you in with what went on in the past few months. Just wait until you see what this monkey tail is looking like. So this is the mother plant and as you can see where we chopped here, it is pushing out three more um, arms growth. I don't know what to call this, but we have three more little monkey tails coming out. And then wait until you see the base and this is what I'm particularly excited about. So there's the base and there are so many babies coming out up top here, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, so now I know that if you chop, then that's going to promote growth to start coming out in this area. Oh my goodness, this pot is heavy. Um, but yes, so as you can see, there is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there is six growth points coming out there. And then we have our little weird ones, which I don't really like these ones. They just look like, I just don't like this. The other one looks really weird too. Like it was all like skinny and weird and then it started growing nice. So I don't know if I'm gonna chop those in the future or what. I'll probably just let this grow out for a while and then maybe decide like next spring um, what I'm gonna be chopping and what I'm just gonna be leaving to grow. I will say I'm really wondering how people just get like those nice looking monkey tails where everything is like uniform and like nice because mine is just looking all types of crazy. Okay, so now on to the babies. These both did really, really well. These are the propagations that we took um, at the beginning of the video. They actually rooted up probably within, definitely within the first month there was roots because I was pulling every so often and checking. Um, and once they like don't come up, like you can feel resistance, then you know that there's roots. So I'm really curious to up pot these today. We're gonna add them into this pot. I'm really curious to see what the root systems are looking like. All I did for the first couple weeks that these are rooting is I had them in a south facing window so they were getting a lot of sun and I would mist them just every few days. Like I wouldn't be dumping water, I would just be using my mister to give a light watering every few days. And then once I could feel that there was roots growing, that it was rooting into the potting medium, that's when I started actually watering like with my watering can or like however you water, you can just water normally once you get to the point where there's a root system happening. Very easy, um, these were both successful. I don't think I've had one that hasn't been successful with this plant yet, which is really nice. So that's just like my method that I'm sticking to. Um, so, okay, let me, oh my goodness, the sun is kind of impeding our view here. Let me back up. Okay, so we are just gonna hop right into adding these little babies in. Um, so let's unpot them and check out what the roots are looking like. Now, since these are young, they aren't super spiky, at least not down here, but I'm seeing it's getting more of its like yellow fur in. Like how cute. I don't know how much it will show on camera, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna gently Oh my goodness! Oh wow! This is really, really rooted. That is awesome! Look at those roots! I cannot believe it! That is so cool! 
Wow, this went so well. I'm so happy about it. Okay, so that is really, really great. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So, okay, I'm gonna set that aside and we'll pull the second one out. gosh okay this one is extremely rooted this one is like root bound honestly holy smokes i was not expecting that i was really not expecting that oh wow okay that is crazy so these have done just like so well um okay so now my next step is to just like create space for them in here so I wanted to put one up there, but I don't know if there's going to be room. I might have to put them back here. This plant, honestly, like the roots seem like they're filling it up all over again. And we just repotted this a few months ago. Oh, man. Are the roots coming out the bottom? Oh, my gosh. The roots are coming out the bottom, you guys. <gasps> I cannot up-pot this again, though. Oh, man. Let's dig a little more and see what we can do. I really want to hold off on repotting this again until next spring because if I put this in a bigger pot, I don't know where it's going to go in my house. That needs to be a problem for next year. These things just grow roots like crazy. Like, holy. Okay, I'm just gonna gently break apart the root system here just to make it more like pliable to fit into the pot. And I purposely waited until the potting medium was dry in both of these today so that I could just pop them in and then water it through after. I really think I need to get this thing hanging. Like the next time I repot it, I'm gonna put it into plastic, into a hanging basket so that I can hang it from the ceiling because there's just not space for another like larger terracotta than this on the windowsill. And I want it to be in front of the south facing window or under a grow light, but we'll see. Wow, I, I just cannot believe how much time has passed too since I've been filming this video. I've been dying to post it, so I'm really excited to finish it up. I think that I'm gonna do one more update after today. I'm gonna wait maybe like a couple of weeks and just see how everything's settling in. Um, but then after that, I'll post it. So um, I can't wait because I've been purposely like not talking about this plant all summer um, so that I could show you guys like everything that's happened in this video. Okay, let's see if that will... Oh my gosh. At least we're going into winter, so it's gonna slow down its growth. Um, so it should be fine until next summer to repot, but yeah, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna try to gently cover all these roots. It will just root down deeper um, with time too. It's gonna be unstable until it really starts like putting its roots down into this pot, so I'm just gonna have to keep that in mind while like moving it and watering it and whatnot over the next little while. Okay, so there's one of them in there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to break apart this root ball just to see what we're working with here. Oh man, it's crazy. Okay, uh, yeah, definitely gonna need a deeper spot. Oh man, let me check here and just see how... Okay, this spot might be better. Okay, yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty good. 
hopefully these will just settle in okay. I mean, I will do the update, so y'all will find out in a moment if they don't. It's kind of just roots everywhere in this pot, and I don't know which plant they belong to. All right, so this is what the crazy guy is looking like now. Oh my gosh, this looks like a spider or something. What the heck? I look like... I feel like I've created like a mutant or some or Frankenstein or something like this looks bizarre, but we are just gonna give it time and enjoy the process of, you know, propagating and trying to create like a more full monkey tail cactus. I have only had this plant um, for just over a year now, so you know I feel like this is the type of project that might take a few years, but. Yeah, if you guys have any tips or tricks of how I can kind of get this to just like be a little nicer, oops. All right, I will talk to you guys in a couple of weeks. Okay, so today I'm gonna be giving the final update on the monkey tail cactus. Today is September 18th. It doesn't really look different, but everything seems to be doing really well since the repot. I'll grab it. Okay, so here it is. So I've watered this, I watered it right after I repotted it and then I watered it once more a few days ago. And these new ones that I potted in there seem like they're rooting down pretty well. Yeah, I'm not worried about them. It's still been really sunny out recently, which is nice. It was like, I did this in the nick of time, I feel, because pretty soon we're gonna be going into winter and I'm not really gonna be watering this throughout. Well, I water, I usually water my cactus every like couple months in the winter but it doesn't really grow or anything. So anything further that I'm gonna do with this plant is gonna have to wait until the spring. And I'm already thinking like, I think I might cut these and these again in the spring and we'll see, we'll see what happens, like how big these babies get growing from the top. But I might just take all of these smaller pieces and create like a smaller, a fuller small plant without this big large one. Then it will all be kind of even and can kind of like just grow into a nice symmetrical pot. But this is fine for now. I really don't have space to have more than one pot of this. So it's definitely gonna work the best for me just to have these all growing in this one pot. And then next year, uh, I can choose to go whichever way about it. If you have one of these plants, leave a comment down below. Let me know what yours looks like. Let me know what you think I should do. Should I chop and prop this again next spring? Or should I just wait it out and leave it looking funky for a couple of years? But regardless, I absolutely love this plant. It's so unique. It's like nothing else in my collection and it really is such a joy to grow. It's been quite easy for me as well regarding care and propagation. So I've been quite happy with that. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like these type of like propagation update videos that span over a few months. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.